John Stewart. American comedian and writer. Born, November 28, 1962, age 61 years, New York, New York, United States. Married, Tracy McShane, M. 2000. Children, Maggie Rose Stewart, Nathan Thomas Stewart. Height, 1.69 meters. Parents, Donald Leibovitz, Marion Leibovitz. Siblings, Larry Leibovitz, Dan Leibovitz, Matt Leibovitz. John Stewart about. John Stewart is an American comedian, writer, producer, director, political commentator, actor, and television host. He is the host of The Daily Show, a satirical news program on Comedy Central from 1999 to 2015 and on Mondays since 2024. He hosted The Problem with John Stewart on Apple TV+. John Stewart net worth $120 million. Early life and education. Stewart was born Jonathan Stewart Leibovitz at Doctors Hospital in the Upper East Side of New York City. His father Donald Leibovitz, 1931-2013, was an energy coordinator for the New Jersey Department of the Treasury, and his mother Marion Leibovitz, Nay Laskin, was a teacher and later an educational consultant. Stewart's family is Ashkenazi Jewish, Polish Jewish, Ukrainian Jewish, Belarusian Jewish, and possibly Lithuanian Jewish. His parents had immigrated to the United States from Europe. One of his grandfathers was born in Manshuli, present-day China. He is the second of four sons, with older brother Lawrence and younger brothers Dan and Matthew. Stewart's parents divorced when he was 11 years old, and Stewart was largely estranged from his father. Due to his strained relationship with his father, he dropped his surname and began using his middle name alone, stating, There was a thought of using my mother's maiden name, but I thought that would be just too big of a fuck you to my dad. Did I have some problems with my father? Yes. Yet people always view changing my surname through the prism of ethnic identity. He had his surname legally changed to a Stewart in 2001. In 2015, he described his relationship with his father as is still complicated, in light of his father's death two years earlier. Stewart and his brother Lawrence, who was previously the chief operating officer of NYSE Euronext, parent company of the New York Stock Exchange, grew up in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, where they attended Lawrence High School. Stewart has stated that he experienced much anti-Semitism as a child, having been bullied frequently due to his Jewish identity. He describes himself in high school as very into Eugene Debs and a bit of a leftist. Stewart grew up in the era of the Vietnam War and the Watergate scandal, which inspired in him a healthy skepticism towards official reports. His first job was working with his brother at a Woolworths store and has jokingly said that being fired by Lawrence was one of the scarring events of his youth. He has also credited renowned television producer Norman Lear as someone who erased me. Stewart graduated in 1984 from the College of William and Mary where he initially majored in chemistry before switching to psychology. While at William and Mary, Stewart became a member of the Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity, but eventually began disassociating himself from them, leaving the fraternity altogether after six months. My college career was waking up late, memorizing someone else's notes, doing bong hits, and going to soccer practice, he later said. He was a three-year starter in 1981, 1982, and 1983 with the Tribe men's soccer team. He had 10 goals and 12 assists on a squad that went 40, 15, 9, in his three seasons with the program. He is listed as John Leibovitz in official William and Mary Athletics records. The former head coach of the Tribe men's soccer team from 1971 to 2003, Al Albert, describes John as the athletic and feisty and quick and added that he wasn't the most technical or clinical player, but he could make things happen. After college, Stewart held numerous jobs, a contingency planner for the New Jersey Department of Human Services, a contract administrator for the City University of New York, a puppeteer for children with disabilities, a soccer coach at Gloucester High School in Virginia, a caterer, a busboy, a shelf stocker at Woolworths, a bartender at the Franklin Corner Tavern, a local blue-collar bar, and a bartender at the City Gardens in Trenton, New Jersey. He has said that working at City Gardens was a pivotal moment for him. Finding this place City Gardens was like, oh, maybe I'm not a giant weirdo. Maybe there are other people who have a similar sense of yearning for something other than what they have now. I think it inspired a lot of people, man. It was a very creative environment. It was a place of great possibility. Personal life. Marriage and family. While making the 1997 film, Wishful Thinking, a production assistant on the film arranged for a blind date between Stuart and Tracy Lynn McShane. They dated for four years. 
Stuart proposed to her through a personalized crossword puzzle created with the help of Will Shorts, the crossword editor at the New York Times. They married in 2000. On June 19, 2001, Stuart and his wife filed a joint name change application and legally changed both of their surnames to a Stuart. With the help of in vitro fertilization, the couple has two children. In 2015, he adopted a vegetarian diet for ethical reasons, his wife is a longtime vegan. Later, he became vegan as well. Career 1986 1992, stand up and early career. With a reputation for being a funny man in school, Stewart returned to New York City in 1986 to try his hand at the comedy club circuit, but could not muster the courage to get on stage until the following year. He made his stand-up debut at the bitter end, where one of his comedic idols, Woody Allen, also began. He began using the stage name John Stewart by dropping his last name and changing the spelling of his middle name, Stewart, to Stewart. He often jokes that it was because people had trouble pronouncing Leibovitz, or it has sounded too Hollywood, a reference to Lenny Bruce's joke on the same theme. He has implied that the name change was due to a strained relationship with his father, with whom Stewart no longer had any contact. Stewart became a regular at the Comedy Cellar, where he was the last performer every night. For two years he performed at 2 a.m. while developing his comedy style. In 1989, he landed his first television job as a writer for Caroline's Comedy Hour. In 1990, he began co-hosting Comedy Central's Short Attention Span Theater with Patty Rossborough. In 1992, he hosted the short-lived You Wrote It, You Watch It on MTV, which invited viewers to send in their stories to be acted out by the comedy troupe, The State. Stewart said that his career did not take off until his March 6, 1992, appearance on NBC's Late Night with David Letterman. He was considered to take over the show when Letterman left it, but it was given to relatively unknown Conan O'Brien. He co-hosted MTV Spring Break 93 Blind Date from Daytona Beach with Melissa Rivers, 